Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. Also, make sure you turn off the water supply to the washer. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the drain pump in a Samsung washer. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a 516 inch nut driver, a Phillips and a flat blade screwdrivers, a pair of pliers, and a pair of wise grips. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new drain pump. Operated by the main control board, the drain pump pumps water out of the tub when energized. A damaged drain pump could cause a partial drain, leaving some water inside the tub, or not drain at all causing the washer not to go into the spinning cycle. We need to remove the top panel. Using the 5 16 inch nut driver, take out the two screws from the back of the top panel. Slide the panel back and lift it off the washer. Pull out the dispenser drawer, press down the tab and remove the drawer. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take out the three screws that hold the dispenser housing. Slide it out of the control panel. Leave the top edge of the control panel to undo the clips. Open the door and tilt the panel towards you to disengage the bottom clips. Disconnect the wire connector plug. Put the towel on the floor right under the door. Then using the flat blade screwdriver, press down the tab on the top of the door and open it. Place a container next to the door. Okay, now we're going to pull the drain pump holes out of the clamp. Place it in the container. I'm going to remove the cap. So we can drain a, any leftover water in the pump. In our case, we don't have anything, but uh, I bet that you will have probably a half of a container of water. So now we're going to cap it off. Using the flatbed screwdriver, press the side tabs and remove the pump door and housing. Tilt the washer back on the support. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take out the two screws, one on each side, that holds the front panel to the bottom hinges. Put the washer upright and open the door. Using the flat blade screwdriver, pry off the door boot spring and remove it. Remove the boot seal from the loop and tuck it inside. Next, remove the three Phillips screws that hold the door latch assembly and push the assembly inside. Four more Phillips screws from the top of the front panel should go out. Leave the front panel up and off the two tabs on the top and rotate it towards you. Free the hose from the retainers on the left. Leave the front panel off the bottom hinges and take it out of the way. Okay, let's start with placing the towel underneath of the hoses there. And now we're going to slide the hose clamp using the pliers. 
I'm going to squeeze it and slide it off. And okay, now we can pull the holes off. second clamp and pull that holes of the pump all right next free the holes from this retainer now we're going to use the Phillips screwdriver to take out two mounting screws that hold the pump to the chassis. All right, now we can remove the clamp on the top hose. Using the flat blade screwdriver, we're gonna pry this hose off. Now next, take, take the harness out of the retainer. And now we can slide the pump backwards and then lift it up. I'm going to show you why we did that. See that rubber mount? So what we did, we slide it back from the cutout and release the pump. All right, so now we're going to take off the top cover and we can pull out terminal connection. All right, so that's the pump. We're not going to replace the whole assembly. We're only going to replace the motor and the impeller. So we need to take out those three Phillips screws and then remove the motor. This is the old drain pump next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. All right, let's clean the seat before we install the new motor. Make sure there's no foreign objects inside the pump housing. And now we're going to put a new motor and impeller assembly in. It goes this way. So uh, the top of the motor facing up. And secure to the three Phillips screws. All right, now we can put it back into the washer. Let's pull the towel out. All right, first, let's connect the wires. It doesn't matter which wire goes where. To the terminals. And then put the safety cap on. And we can install the pump in. The little drain hose goes in the opening here. Harness on the top. And I'm going to place this rubber mount into the cutout. And slide it forward to lock. Now we're going to secure the pump to the chassis with two Phillips screws. All right. 
Now we're going to install the hoses. And secure them with the clamps using the pliers and squeeze them and slide on. Next, the wire harness goes back into the retainer. And we're going to put this hose on the top. And slide the clamp down to secure the hose. And the pliers can be handy. Then we're going to lock it into the retainer and then we can move up and put the panel on. Bring the front panel and install it on the two bottom hinges. Place the holes on the left in the two retainers. Push to close the front panel. Secured with the four Phillips screws at the top. Install the door latch assembly and secure it with the three Phillips screws. All right, now I'm going to pull out the door boot seal. and place the boot seal over the lip here. And go around. Tack it in. Now we can put the outer clamp in the groove with the spring at 6 o'clock. Lock the wise grip right next to the spring. Jam the flat blade screwdriver right there, approximately at three o'clock. And pull on the spring and install the clamp in the groove. Check it visually all around the seal. Pulling it to make sure it's not going to come off. All right, looks like we did a good job here. We can close the door. Tilt the washer back on the support and secure the front panel with the two Phillips screws at the bottom hinges, one on each side. Put the washer upright. Get down and install the drain filter door housing. Make sure the hose in the hole and push the housing in to lock the tabs. 
Install the hose into the retainer and close the filter door. Let's bring the control panel to the washer and connect the wire plug. Install the bottom clips into the openings, lift up the panel and lock the top clips. Install the detergent dispenser housing and secure with the three Phillips screws. Slide in the drawer. Close the top, slide it forward to lock and secure it with the 5 16 screws from the back. Turn the water on. Plug the washer back in and make sure there's no leaks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.